Russia no longer risks using Crimea Bridge to supply troops in Ukraine. To sustain the units fighting the war, Russia has recently relied much more on supply routes running across the occupied areas in mainland Ukraine than on the Crimea Bridge, which the Ukrainian armed forces have already repeatedly attacked. This was reported by Independent, referring to the data from the Molfar analytical firm. Maxar satellite images, analysts say, show that not a single military freight train passed along the Crimea Bridge railway track for the past three months. It is noted that the use of the bridge significantly decreased after July the 17th, 2023, when Ukrainian naval drones carrying explosives attacked it, blowing up a section of the roadway and the railway track. According to the head of the security service of Ukraine, Vasil Maliuk, until recently, Russia used to have more than 40 trains carrying weapons run along the bridge on a daily basis. Now, traffic has reduced to four passenger and one freight train per day, he clarified. At the same time, there is a surge in cargo shipments through Taman of Russia's Krasnodar territory. According to analysts, Ukraine should rationally use Western weapons and concentrate strikes on the route through Melitopol, Berdyansk and Mariupol, where Russia is now laying new railway lines to connect these occupied regions with Crimea and Russia's mainland. As the publication suggests, the new railway line, which runs from Yakimivka of the Melitopol district to Berdyansk and Mariupol and farther to Rostov, will likely be used by the Russian army for a new offensive, which may kick off this summer. The railway route consists of 63 kilometers of new tracks and about 140 kilometers of restored ones. The invaders want to complete the construction by the end of the year so that the new network will connect more districts of the temporarily occupied part of Donetsk region. As reported earlier, the spokesman for the Ukrainian naval forces, Captain 3rd Rank Dmitro Pletenchuk, said that the illegally built Crimea Bridge will be destroyed and that the only question is the degree of the destruction. Turkey's fifth-generation KAAN fighter has successfully completed its second test flight. The technical details of the tests have not yet been announced. The flight has not been officially confirmed yet. Since the first flight on February 21st, engineers have been integrating new systems to improve the fighter's software, flight, and combat characteristics, TGRT TV channel said. It should be noted that on February 21st, the KAN fighter jet of the Turkish Air Force, which took off from the Mirted Air Base in Ankara, stayed in the air for 13 minutes. The speed was more than 420 km per hour, and the flight height was 2.4 km. The Turkish aerospace industry considers the assembly of this second prototype as a pivotal milestone in the aircraft's ongoing evolution. The impending comprehensive flight tests will not only ask questions but will also provide vital responses. In any such project, the development and testing of a second prototype is always marked as a crucial turning point. In the first stage of the CONS airborne trials, the team will meticulously assess the aircraft's flightworthiness. This involves judgments on the aircraft's maneuverability, stability, and control across various altitudes and speeds, ensuring its performance aligns with expectations. Analysts project that the TAIKAN will host an array of weapons, a mix of air-to-air, air-to-surface, and anti-ship missiles. Additionally, there is the possibility that developers might include an internal gun.